Once upon a time, there was a mysterious and magical land called the Brain. The Brain was filled with monstrous and horrifying creatures, like the feared cerebellum and the hideous central cortex. Out of all things in the Brain, only one structure was smart and civilized enough to produce and utilize language fully. Say hello to Broca's area. See, it can speak things. How cute. Broca's area was originally assumed by scientists to be mostly dedicated to language production rather than comprehension, but it was later found that it played a significant role in comprehension too. Also, it was discovered that it's possible to speak with a damaged Broca's area or a one completely gone in a broken and non-centered way, but that's not important. Broca's area got its name after it was discovered and analyzed by a French guy called Pierre Paul Broca who had ridiculous sideburns and was studying the frontal lobe of which Broca's area was part of, specifically in the inferior frontal gyrus, or gyrus, the pronunciation is up to you. Broca was studying a language disorder often caused by problems in Broca's area that came to be known as Broca's aphasia, or expressive aphasia, which is characterized by a person knowing what they want to say, but not being able to produce the right sounds to express it properly. Anyways, Broca's area was discovered and shown off to the world, but it still remains quite mysterious as to its exact processes and role in the brain, so it's not exactly the most famous brain structure. But it's still happy. Until it gets a tumor.